respect. She, I'm not saying she needed to be disrespectful, but she gave too much respect. And I, I, again, I'm going to touch on it. This is exactly why you see people escalate these things. And then some of these idiots out here have the gall to sit there and try to blame the person that are escalating and asking for a supervisor and stuff like this. I wish she had done that. I wish she had done that. Because the two on scene, they had their chance. She gave them plenty of chances and she remained respectful. She followed their directions and she lost her life. This is why you ask for a supervisor. And normally when you do that, you get penalized. They get even more aggressive with you. So where's the problem? Where's the true problem? Is it the people or is it them? And again, in this instance, we're talking about what happened. But the same thing happens in real life, in in our personal lives, at work, just out and about and stuff like that. And we got the nerve to sit here and try to talk about the person that recognizes, yeah, y'all y'all don't have this under control. Y'all ain't got it. I need somebody else for being. That, that's what they should do. is a holistic thing it's not just this area we've seen this across the country we've seen it across the country there there is not a spot that is immune to this foolishness right here not not a spot this is a systematic thing there's multiple issues here multiple and you know what's going to happen you know, you know exactly what's going to happen. They're going to have a little investigation. He might be held accountable the way he should be. And what I mean that is, it shouldn't cost any taxpayer money. To me, this is, uh, this is the ultimate penalty. Hands down, it's not even a conversation. It should be. I'll go as far as to say his partner needs to be held accountable too. I'll leave that up in the air to where that needs to be looked at and then a decision can be made. But with this one right here, it's a no-brainer. No-brainer. The guy on the left, easy. Easy. Save time, save money. We already know what it is. Go ahead and handle that. Go ahead and handle that one. It shouldn't cost anybody any money. We don't need to go through due process. We only know it's done. We already seen it. This ain't no question here. We already know. They're going to go through that little process. They're going to prolong it and everything. Do their internal investigation. All that hoopla. All that bull. And you have stuff like this and then you have idiots just like this that go right down the street and they get a sheriff job or they they, they're right back in badge, right back in badge, right back in a position to where they can obtain pension and stuff like that. Not 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 even a lick of accountability, maybe lose the job, but even most of the time that don't even happen because they, they and even if it does, they're rebounding. They're going right down the street, getting another job in the same capacity. Now it's getting swept under the rug. And what what happens is the approach that law enforcement takes in particular is they just let time pass. Well, we got to go through the pain. Just, yeah, it's going to be a talking point and all this and that, but let time pass. And the next thing you know, this person is right back in uniform. Most of the time, they don't even wait. And then we having another conversation again. Uh, 
I'm telling you, this is I, I'm. I, we can use this exact, this exact circumstance. And I, I'm, I'm not even going to say, well, unfortunately, she like, no, this is bad. This is bad. This is a life. It's gone. There's no my fault. I apologize. No, 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 uh-uh, no. But it's the same approach in all, like, this is the exact problem. What's wrong with everything about our lives and and the society that we live in the the society that these children are growing up in it's it's a damn circle man nothing is get it's a circle and it just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning sometimes it goes a little slow and it rotates sometimes it goes pretty fast This is this right here is this is just an example of it. That's all it is. I can sit here and equate this to the politics. I can sit here and equate this to our justice system. I can sit here and equate this to uh you know the 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 racial imbalance. I can sit here and equate this to our damn history as to why we are where we are. It's kind of like, look, look, look around you. What what has changed? It's just a circle. That's all it is. That's all it is. And if everyone literally cared, like for a perfect example, you sit here and you look in these comments, you look at these comments. There's idiots in these. There's there's idiots in here. Right. And it's their right. You you want to be an idiot. That's your right. But you're an idiot. You, you're you're part of the problem, and that's exactly why it's 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 super difficult for us to progress the way that we need to progress. It ain't even about us. It's it's not about me. It's about these kids coming up. It's about the kids. <laughs> like we we grew up in this. We know it. Give them a damn chance. Give them a chance. Let them see, okay, this is where it is. This is where you need to go. And when you get older, you do this for the next generation and you make sure you improve on that. The same way that everyone should be doing with their kids and with their families and stuff. You want to leave your family in a better position that you are in. That's your legacy. And then it is up to them to build on that and it gets passed down and it gets passed down and it gets passed down. But as a country, for some reason, we understand that individually and and as on a family level. But we don't understand that in society. Like, make that make sense. Make that make sense. And then you, you have instances like this right here. And you actually have people debating this. Like it's it's a conversation for some reason. It's the exact problem. I don't know about you, but I tell kids, I tell them, and I'll tell the school system and everything. You see a bully, you bully that bully. You you make sure that bully knows. Nah, nope. You don't even have to know the kid being bullied. If you are around, it is your responsibility. That's how you handle this stuff. And this little punk partner of this idiot on the left, he failed to do his job. He is just as guilty. Just as guilty. He's a coward. He failed to read this lady's body language. He failed to recognize that his partner is a he know he knows who his partner is. There's no way in hell. This I, I doubt it. I don't know. I'll say that. But I doubt that this was the first day he was riding with him if they rode and arrived together. I'm pretty sure he kind of knows who this guy is. More than likely. Odds are he does. And that man is very comfortable doing something like this in front of him. You man, you out your mind. I would check my brother. I would check 
I would check my uncle, my dad, my grandfather, my mom. You no, nah, this ain't finna happen. Not not with me right here. No, nah, it's not going down like that. This young lady's not about to lose her life because you an idiot, because you insecure, because you on some power trip. This is my scene now. I yeah, I I tried to give you the lead, but you just fucked that up. I got this. And we can have that conversation when we leave. Fuck, I don't give a damn about your ego. We're going to do her right. She ain't fit to lose her life. You out your mind. I'd have saw him draw on her. I'm drawing on him. I'm going I'm going to save her life. You do that you want to. This, this is a life, man. This is a life. And again, you, you can... I, I really don't care what anybody think in here. I, I say that respectfully, but I'm, I don't care. But this is not only is it a life. When it comes to women and children, it, it... Man. Really? And what, what kind of man... What kind of man? We're talking about a grown man. Who draws their weapon on an unarmed female in a gown? Who draws a weapon on an unarmed female in a gown? In front of your partner. And both of them are cool with this. And not only do you do it, you tell her exactly what happened. You told her exactly what you were going to do, and you did it. What kind of man? What kind of man does that? I'm telling you, it does not go down. Not, not in my presence. And that's what I'm saying about this partner. We know who this partner is. Because the, the fact that this happened and he never intervened, I know everything I need to know about him. I know everything I know about this guy. <laughs> he is the same guy that's on the left. There's no difference in between them. Not an ounce of a difference. And in my opinion, in my personal opinion, he gets what this guy gets. He gets exactly what he gets. And what I feel they get don't cost us a dime. It's the ultimate penalty in the judicial system. This young lady is gone. It, it's a no-brainer. No-brainer. I, I can understand, in my opinion, his partner, same, same position... But I can understand if that goes a little bit through the process. I can understand that. But in my eyes, he's no different. We sit here and we talk about all these occurrences and, and then time passes. Don't nobody say anything. And then now, now, now we have, now we have this. Again, I, I encourage everyone to go look at these, go look at the video. I, I encourage everyone to go look at the video. I, I need you to go look at this. I took my sweet time with this one. I wanted to make sure that I can speak on the things that I know for a fact will not be touched upon. I focused in on the partner. I focused in on the lack of compassion, which I think that would be touched on. But the accountability of the partner, focusing in on the victim and the way she felt, it was evident, it was obvious.
it was extremely obvious. She she didn't feel comfortable for one second. And all she did was call law enforcement because she felt like or she seen that someone was attempting to break into her house. <laughs> Even if you're not sure, you're supposed to do what she did. It's best to be on the safe side. But was this the safe side? Did it turn out to be the safe side for her? Because there turned out to not have been any other issue other than what she thought or what she saw. I can't speak to that. But was, did this turn out to be the safe side? Because she made the right decision. She did exactly what she was supposed to do. And it cost her her life. cost her her life I, I need everybody when you are in these lives or in your personal lives and everything you need to mention Sonya Massey you, you, need to, you need to speak on this and we need to stress the importance of exactly where we are in today's society because this goes beyond the police it, 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 I'm telling you it, it trickles into the politics it trickles in everything bad about our society. It's it's all demonstrated right here. It happens in these in these schools. It happens in employment. It happens when you're out about trying to mind your own damn business. It happens when you're trying to pursue your own goals. You got all these people out here that are just poison. And then you also have the people that stand idly by and allow it. You don't even have to know somebody. You don't even have to know somebody. If I'm walking down the street and I see some guy approach a woman and it's super aggressive and stuff, I, it's not going down. It's not happening. It's not going to happen, period. I don't, I don't have to know her. I don't. I'm going to make it my business. If it turns out to be something that I, I was unaware of or something like that and she reassures me that it's fine then I apologize but it's not about to just happen it's not going to happen this man she I mean literally he knocking on the door. She come to the door. And rather than, ma'am, hey, we're here. Want to let you know everything is fine. We already did a perimeter check and everything. Are you okay? It's my understanding that, you know, you called. Someone was trying to break into your house or at a minimum, they were on your property. We're here. Are you okay? No. Nah. His approach is, what took you so long to come to the door? I'm paraphrasing. That might not be his exact words, but that's what he, that's exactly what he, that's how he came at her. And right then and there, his punk ass partner did not intervene. Right there. Had he to took over the scene, we, it's not a conversation. Man, I, I don't know what he had on this. Like, I don't understand it. Like, what I see, I see that he he just, he had it in his mind that he don't like her. I, I'm telling you. that That's what I see. The, the video don't lie. He, he had it in his mind. He was irritated. I don't know what it was. And this, this... She, she was so polite and, and 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 just she was clearly scared never comforted you know never shown any reason uh, to feel reassured or anything like that she had fear in her the whole time and 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 
and to interpret, first of all, you give her a directive to, t to get the water because it's boiling. And you even make it a point to reference, I don't want it to burn down in here while I'm here or whatever, whatever he said. Again, I'm paraphrasing. And then she already don't feel comfortable and she notices that you get in even more of a defensive stance. And when she asks about it, you give an asshole comment. Well, it's not going to happen with us here. This is not going to burn down what I'm in here or whatever. And I mean, you know, she may be religious or whatever. She make the statement of, well, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus or whatever. She, I mean, this lady, she's, she's reacting to her environment. It's, I mean, and even that wasn't disrespectful. And how that turns into you better not or whatever he said and drew his weapon. I'm at a loss. I, I I don't I don't get it. I don't understand it. I mean, it, this is the exact problem that we have. I I, I don't get it. Oh, this lady lost her life. Like I I don't understand it. And now we sitting here. We we talking about it. And I'm sorry, I, I, I need to, you know, I, I, she she has a name. It's Sonya Massey. I, I'm saying this lady. I'm sorry, it's, it's frustration. Sonya Massey. Sonya Massey. I mean, you, we got to say it. I don't give a damn what his name is. I, I really don't care. Fucking idiot. That's his damn name. And his partner. His partner doing all this stuff, man. Like, this is... You, you, you have three grown adults in a closed environment that has been deemed safe at the moment. And rather than enjoying that and comforting a, 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 a woman that is home alone at night. What, I mean, what, what, what kind of asshole are you? Like, you, you don't understand that this woman was home alone. She had to call the police and you felt it necessary to question her what took you so long to answer the door this is the person that uh, i'm sorry sonya massey is the is the person that called she called your punk ass and the vibe you've given made her feel just as threatened as she was when she called for your help. These people, I mean, these people need to be, I mean, they need to be, we need to weed these people out, man. You're not fit. I don't give a damn if you want to do it. You're not fit. I don't know about y'all. But it, 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 to me, the feeling that I get with law enforcement <clears throat> is that, and I'm, I'm talking on a mass scale. I'm not talking about every individual. But just because some of them want to do it, then they're allowed to do it. And that is a problem. And that is costing people's lives. 
hell, we all want to do our jobs, but we will lose our jobs. Even if you're self-employed, hell, you want to do your stuff, but for you to continue being self-employed, you're held accountable. You have to sustain, at a minimum sustain. Your goal is to improve, but at a minimum, you are sustaining this. These fools don't even have to sustain. Like, they're not sustaining. When it comes to these individuals, individuals like this, and his, and partners like him, and supervisors that okay the work environment and the culture of the Blue Shield and let's protect each other over everything. No, no. You need to be held accountable just like we are. As a matter of fact, you're held to a higher account. She, they're held to a higher account. I know I'm not the only one that I see because I, I, I mean, clearly we're all up late, right? So I, sometimes I'm on the road at the time like this. I personally see, and I'm, I'm not about to sit here and just bash police. It's not a police bashing. I'm not doing that. But I'm talking about the particular ones they need to be bashed. I see people, literally, police. I don't know if y'all have ever seen this. I've seen people where the police are in there and they're in their squad car. They turn on their lights and run a light. And as soon as they get through the light, they turn it off. I, I know I'm not the only one that's seen that. It's like there's no accountability. I know police. I know their spouses. I know their kids. When they get tickets, they don't get a ticket. There's no court date. That shit is gone. Period. Period. I've seen it. I have seen it. I have seen it. I let, Listen to this. This is what I've seen. I'm not going to go into detail too much, but I will say this. I saw a circumstance where I was at a driver's license location and I literally saw a police officer try to allow his daughter to take her road test for the license in his car and the employee had to explain to him that he cannot allow that. I want you to, to soak that in for a second. I couldn't believe it when I heard it. So I got nosy and I went outside and I be damn they had the squad car parked under the carport and that thing had uh, the big pew pew in the middle between the driver and the passenger seat. And this idiot actually thought that they were going to let his daughter take her road test in his squad car. I've seen this firsthand. And again, I told you, some of them turn their sirens on. They run the red light. I've seen to where, you know, we're not supposed to in this state. Uh, they're not supposed to be on their phones while they're, uh, you know, we're, we're not civilians. They use the excuse that they are trained and they are in the capacity of their jobs and they're on their phones. Nah, man, I, I've been at red lights and I see what you're looking. I can see your phone. I can see your screen. That is not your job. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's not your job. I seen your screen. They need to be held to a higher account at a minimum to the same account as us at a minimum. But when you have that authority, it needs to be higher because I can't do that crap in my job. I know y'all can't do that. And that abuse of power leads to leads to this right here. It leads exactly to this because it's the culture. They are allowed, and it goes all the way up to management. It is the culture that is allowed. So it's nothing 
for this to occur. And if you don't believe me that that was his mindset, that this was no big thing, I I encourage you to go look at the video and I want you to see the reaction after it happens. Watch his reaction. This man literally said, and I'm paraphrasing, oh no, she pretty much, he was saying she's gone. I'm not gonna waste my safety equipment. And the partner who was a punk, at least he had the mindset to try to render aid. But the one that did it, I mean, that man might as well have been sipping a cup of coffee with his damn pinky up in the air like nothing happened. That was his mindset. You think I'm you think I'm making it up? Go look at the video. Uh go 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 look it up. Uh look up uh look up um <clears throat> Yeah, you just all you got to just go to Google. All you got to do is go to Google and just type it, type in uh uh just type in Sonny Massey and then just click on the videos. You'll see it. And so it shows the whole thing literally. Now, it's been a little bit of time, so it might have, you know, blanked a little bit out. And you you're going to see it. And again, I encourage you to watch it multiple times. Look at it through the lens that I did, because I, I took my time with this. I took my sweet time. I, I watched it multiple times. I watched it, and I focused in on the punk ass on the left. I watched it again, and I specifically listened to anything that his partner had said in response to everything as it led up to what happened and even after the fact I watched it again and I only watched her and then I watched it again a fourth time and I turned the volume down and I watched her again so that I can focus in on her body language and that right there is the most damning video but do it last trust me if you do it in that order you're going to see exactly what I'm saying when you turn that volume down, her body language is now the volume. And you watch it. You look at her eyes. You look at her body language. You can still see the fear. It, it never changed from the moment she opened the door. Not one time did she ever feel comfortable. Look, this is a screenshot. Look at her. Look at her. She's not comfortable. And she's in a gown. She is in a gown, man. Now, look at him. Now, again, I, I, I don't like him. But I want to be fair. It's a screenshot. It's a screenshot. But I, I guarantee you, if you watch the video, that body language that he's giving off is throughout the whole video. I understand that this is a screenshot. And it can be indicative to just, you know, a movement or anything like that. But I'm telling you, don't take my word for it. Go look at the video. And when you watch him, his body posture and his aggression is exactly the way you're looking. And not only is it just his body language, it's his fucking voice and the stuff that he's saying and the attitude that he's projecting. You cannot miss it if you try. You cannot miss it. Hell, if a child sees this, I guarantee a child would be like, man, what's wrong with him? That would that's more than likely going to be their reaction. felt guilty because again I wanted to take my time with this one uh, I haven't been live 
for about two, two and a half weeks. I've been focusing on helping the people that normally come in, in, in my life. I, I normally hold political lives. I take a little bit different of an approach and I try to do what I can for, for the people that come in the live and people have been facing hardships and everything. And it required me not being live. Like, I mean, actual lives takes precedence. So that's what I've been focused on. I came back today just to check on things. Clearly a lot has happened in the political world. So I came back. I already knew about this, but again, I wanted to take my time with this one. I did a little bit of a live and everything. Uh, I tried to help raise money for someone that's going through uh, a difficult time. 